Episode 14 of Season 2 of The Bad Batch, titled Tipping Point, is the darkest place for this season yet as Crosshair matches wills with Dr. Hemlock as we see him tortured and The Bad Batch find out that he's been captured. The way Kiner pushes themes against one another in this episode is powerful to the story as well. This is Star Wars Music Analysis. Low strings enter immediately, giving a sense of danger. It turns into a short motif from Dr. Hemlock's theme. And as the clones are escorted to the shuttle, we see this new Imperial officer who appears to be Rampart's replacement. They quickly come under attack by Echo and this clone still going through puberty? I'm docked. Don't take long. And the music picks up energy with brass and percussion. Music of this battle, while great, just continues energetic ostinati underneath, keeping the energy going forward. That is, until the Imperial Venator jumps out of hyperspace. That's when we get the first four notes of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. I, I mean, the Imperial March. We have to go. I need more time. It interrupts the music the same way that the arrival interrupts the clones and action. The clones quickly jump back into action though as the music kicks back in as well. The next scene falls on Mount Tantis at night. The music is absent at first as everything appears to be at rest, and this included Crosshair until he was interrupted from his sleep by two stormtroopers. His theme begins to play in a single, distant voice, continuing to make us feel sorrow for his character. As Dr. Hemlock's creepy character shows up, his creepy theme shows up as well. It always plays underneath, very calmly, just like his character. Always composed and in control. The ostinato that accompanies his theme continues as they speak. They'll never turn her over. They don't have a choice. She is a clone, and therefore Imperial property. But as Crosshair is restrained, the music returns to Hemlock's theme, continuing in variation for the rest you know, of the scene. To share. Wrong. Let's see if we can jog your memory. Later, as Crosshair begins to escape, the echoey voice of his theme returns over the top the ostinato and the low strings. It gives an eerie but nervous tension to the entire scene and makes us feel hopeless for Crosshair as he attempts to escape. And I think it is certainly worth mentioning that Crosshair's first shot keeps missing. I'm not sure if this is because he's so weak, or if this is a continuation from last week that something is off with him in general. And sure enough, Crosshair fails in his escape, and as Dr. Hemlock enters, his motif enters as well. This guy is so creepy. Having trouble processing the toxin. And as we jump to Pabu, the music immediately gets bright for the first time in this episode, as does the lighting. We find our heroes helping out the people of Pabu in day-to-day -day life. A short humorous motif from the Bad Batch theme enters as Wrecker throws down his massive catch. You've been busy. The bassoon gives a comical feeling with its more nasally sound while also giving size to Wrecker and the fish by being a lower register instrument. And I caught some dinner. You've been busy. The music disappears as the grown-ups talk though and the scene gets a little more serious. Putting down roots is an occupational hazard. Is that all you are? It returns as we see Omega learning to fly. More flying lessons. Uh huh. <laughs> Tex got his hands full. And After Echo arrives and the scene concludes, a twisted version of the Bad Batch theme transitions us to the next scene and back to Mount Tantis as Dr. Hemlock's theme returns. Why?
As he speaks to Tarkin, his short motif continues underneath, while the descending minor thirds give us something closer to Tarkin's theme, without directly giving it to us, and because of its similarities to Palpatine's theme, it gives an even more haunting chill. I suspect the leak came The silence of nighttime takes up the next scene as Hunter and Echo speak, but once Tech calls him back with information, eerie music enters foreshadowing the coming information. The scene eventually transitions back to Crosshair again with another short motif of the Bad Batch theme. And once more as Hemlock enters, his theme accompanies him. Notably, Kiner is beginning to rely less and less on his full theme being out in the open as he trusts us to begin becoming familiar with it going forward. As Hemlock offers Crosshair another chance at redemption with the Empire, Crosshair's theme comes in with a single octave leap in the horn over Hemlock's theme as these two characters become more and more connected as oppositions to one another. Perhaps now you'd like to reconsider my offer. Hemlock's theme returns in the harp as he continues speaking as he battles wits with a silent crosshair. Again, answered by Crosshair's theme continuing from where it had just left off as if it is completely ignoring Hemlock and his theme along the way. Help me, and you'll have your freedom. And you can see Hemlock begin to get frustrated as this is the first time that he doesn't have full control over a situation or a being. Low drones and drums of anger grow with high dissonant string drones as Crosshair's theme continues to fight through as he continues to be tortured. Increase his injection level this time. But I would love to know what you all think as well. Only two episodes remain this season, and it's starting to really look like we'll be getting a rescue of Crosshair and a large-scale showdown between clones and the Empire at Mount Tantus. I'm personally worried though for what will come of Omega at the end of this season, and if she'll be captured as a cliffhanger at the end of season two. They'll never turn her over. They don't have a choice. She is a clone, and therefore Imperial property. Tell me in the comments below what you think. Consider checking out my Patreon page using the link in the description where you can help support this channel for as little as $1 a month or download PDFs and MP3s of projects as I complete them along with other perks at higher tiers. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to learn more about the music of a galaxy far, far away. And as always, may the... be with you.